I know you've been filming with your phone for a while. I am thinking of upgrading to a camera. My name is Juliana with AL Online, and today I am going to be teaching you the basics of filming with the camera. I am going to be using my Canon M50 to teach you the basics of filming with the camera. So you better stay tuned. Welcome back guys, I'm going to be teaching you exposure and vlogging. So basically, exposure means how bright or how dark your video can get. We have the three exposure triangle, which is the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO. I am going to be demonstrating how those three work hand in hand in this video. And to do that, I am going to be introducing Jojo. Hi Jojo. Hi Juliana. Say hi to the camera. Hello. So we are going to, I'm um, uh, basically I'm going to teach you how to um, work with exposures in your video with Jojo in the background. Welcome back guys. I have my audio set and like I said earlier, I'm going to be using my Canon M50 with my 50mm lens to show you the exposure triangle. So if you want to see how the exposure works, let's just dive right into this video. First thing I'm going to be doing is the first thing on the exposure triangle, which is the shutter speed. As you can see, this frame is looking overexposed, and I'm going to adjust that real quick. So I'm going to move on to my shutter speed right here at the left. So the lower it goes, the brighter it gets, but it's looking overexposed. So I'm not going to increase it because right. That's true. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, can you see how this went from 0 to 100 real quick? We're looking from overexposed to just fine. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the aperture. The aperture is close to the shutter speed and it determines the amount of light that enters in, that gets into the camera lens. So in the aperture, the higher it gets, the lower the light gets because more light is not entering it's in the sensor on the lens so i'm just going to decrease it can you see how it is getting bright yes and another thing about the aperture is that it determines your, the blurry background so it allows the um, camera to capture the small amount of image on the screen to focus on the person on the screen as you can see here the background is blurry and we can be able to focus on the person on the screen so that is that about aperture i hope you understand that so we'll move on to the next one the iso unlike the shutter speed and the aperture the brighter the higher it gets the brighter it becomes as you can see but it is getting overexposed so i'm just going to keep my ISO at 100 because it, it is perfect for the lighting. If you have a darker lighting, let's say the night setting, uh, you can actually increase your ISO. But be careful not to increase it too much because um, it, it starts bringing noise and then it will degrade your video quality. So right now, it is perfect at 100, as you can see. So my frame is not overexposed or underexposed. It is just perfect, um, but this varies. If you have different kind of background, different kind of scene, probably in the night scene or anything, you can adjust your exposure triangle to how you want it to be. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. This video is beginners friendly, but I hope you have been able to learn the basics of exposure, that is the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO. If you want an in-depth video on exposure triangle, make sure to drop a comment below. Subscribe, like, share, tell your family members to tell their friends to come and like our video. And thank you returning subscribers, we love you! Mm. See you in our next video! video. Mm.